A YouTuber recently unveiled a self-driving bicycle that can hold itself perfectly upright even while balanced on a fence rail. It can drive itself without a rider using an onboard camera and LiDAR system. The performance of the system is impressive and is even able to hold the bike perfectly upright while balanced on a fence rail. It seems like some kind of witchcraft, but it isn't, obviously. If you want to check out the full video, link is in the description, but the video is in Mandarin and with no subtitles. Google is bringing Google Chat and Gmail's merger with Google Chat, Google Docs, and Google Meet to consumer accounts. The features were rolled out to paid Google Workspace accounts last August. The new Gmail UI has a segmented sidebar with Google Apps on it. Users can open Google Docs files inside Gmail through links in Google Chat. Google Hangouts users will be upgraded to Google Chat at some point, after which Hangouts will finally shut down. This year's Apple Watch, likely called the Apple Watch Series 7, will have a faster processor, an updated screen, and ultra-wideband functionality. It likely won't have blood glucose monitoring. Apple is working on an extreme sports model of the Apple Watch which will be launched in 2022. The Watch OS 8 Beta has a new portrait watch face, enhanced messaging, assistive touch for single arm and hand gestures, a locator app for AirTags, and more. A stable version will be released later this year. Litelligence is a startup from MIT that makes high-speed optical chips with low power consumption and low latency. Its processors have orders of magnitude better performance than standard architectures. The chips generate very little heat due to their low power consumption. Servers for computationally intensive AI processing take up a huge chunk of data center capacity, so there is a lucrative market for chips that reduce running costs while increasing computational capability. After getting the green light to start 5G trials in India late last month, Airtel has begun its mid-band 5G network trials in the country. The telecom giant is currently testing its 5G network in Gurgaon's DLF cyber hub located in Millennium City. Airtel is currently operating in the 3,500 MHz bands, following DOT's guidelines. The maximum download speed offered by Airtel's 5G network during the trial is over 1 gigabit per second. So, as you can imagine, Airtel is working tirelessly to be the first telco company in India to roll out 5G connections before its rivals. Apple is bringing new Beats Studio Buds, which bring active noise cancellation to in-ear headphones for $149.99 or roughly 11,000 in Indian rupees. Studio Buds come with three sizes of ear tips, small, medium and large, and never dislodged during outdoor walks or indoor gym workouts. The Buds easily connect to Android or iOS devices with one-touch pairing. Yes you heard it right. Apple is caring about Android isn't it? The arrival of Beats Studio Buds adds one more sound option for music lovers on the go to consider. Well this is it for today. Come back on Thursday for more tech news. And remember, like and subscribe. <laughs>